Hey people, this is Authentic Epic Boom. I hope you're doing good and happy, happy Easter Sunday. I hope you all are doing well. Positive vibes, much love to you and your family. Peace and blessings from me. Always, okay? So, um, I was talking to my uncle about this because I, I was saw I saw on Twitter that she was getting dragged, and I just feel like out of nowhere, here she comes. Share. Saying something really deeply insulting and stupid. What what is this? What? So let me explain. She double downs share and says that she could have saved George Floyd. Why is it when something happens to people, people have like this attitude, some, not all, this attitude, or they want to say after the fact what they would have did. After the fact is not helping the eight minutes officers were, was on this man's neck. He's no longer here. And for her to say who she can save, first of all, that was unnecessary. Really, really unnecessary. I'm going to leave it here for a second for you guys to really read this. And it says people went crazy criticizing her and calling the post a show of the white savior complex. Amen. I agree. Stay out of shit that don't concern you. It's enough going on when it comes to our people on a daily basis. For you to come out of nowhere and say you could have saved him. You know what? And then, of course, the fake apology ensued after that. She didn't mean any harm. She didn't mean to disrespect the black community. As you can see here, the end of it is her little apology. And it's just... I'm over people like her. I don't know what her problem is. Stay in your damn lane. And... mm -mm. Don't, don't speak on stuff you don't know shit about. And I'm believe it like that. This is, if y'all can probably hear it, it kind of pissed me off a little bit. But why wouldn't it? Who asked her? Who looking at or checking for share to say anything about the black community? I can talk to my people about that. This highly un unlogical, unnecessary. Keep your mouth closed. Like, share, and subscribe.